Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. Today I'm going to show you how to share a file or folder inside of your Dropbox account. And there's three ways you can do it. You can do it either from the Dropbox folder on your computer, you can do it from the Dropbox website, or you can do it from the Dropbox app. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Dropbox folder on your computer. So I've just went in and added a couple files to my Dropbox just so I have something here. Nothing fancy. I have a a compressed file of a font. I have the folder with the individual font files. I have a folder called data sheets, which I have a bunch of data sheets in here from uh, from my Arduino project and the standard uh, get started with Dropbox folder. So that's pretty much what I have there right now. So just say if you shared a project with a coworker and they didn't have the font installed on their computer or any file whatsoever, it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to use the example of uh, sharing this font. So you could attach this email, this uh, file to the an email and send it to them because it's only 134 kilobytes in size. However, if this file was 6 megs in size or 20 megs or 100, you can't do that. But you can certainly do this with it. You can just share the file with them. So if you right click on this file in your Dropbox folder, you'll see a little Dropbox icon here with the word share next to it. If you choose this, then you'll be given the option to who you want to share it with. So you can share it with just that person when you just type in their email address and I'll show you here if I start typing in an email address it'll populate if it's already recognized the person if it doesn't then you just type in the email along with a message and choose invite and they'll have the option to view or another option that you can do as well is right click on it choose share and then there's an option right here before you start typing in at the end called create link. If I go ahead and choose this now and to create a link, you'll see that anyone can view the file. Here's some link settings. Now link settings are only uh, useful if you're a pro member. As you can see, upgrade to Dropbox Pro to enable permissions. If you were upgraded, you can actually specify uh, a password for this uh, links instead of it being just uh, anyone can access it, you can put in a password and you can have the link expire. That's actually useful features because uh, I've shared files before that I didn't want to be online for years and then I had to remember to go back and, and unshare it later. So this is a nice feature here, uh, but unfortunately you have to be a, uh, you have to be a pro Dropbox Pro uh, subscriber in order to access them. And once you have this link shared, you go and plot copy link. And when you copy link, you can go ahead and uh, provide that to uh, whoever you want to have access to that file. So you can share it in an email, put it on a website, or whatever the case may be. All right, so that's how you do it on the uh, Dropbox folder that's on your uh, computer itself. If you were on the website, it's a very similar process. So here's our uh, compressed file here. I can select the file and then I can choose under more. I can, oh, actually my mistake. It's uh, it's to the right, sorry. Uh, you can put your mouse over the file and on the right hand side you choose share. When you choose share, you have the same options. You can go ahead and type in an email address. You can choose create a link. And if you do that, you still get the same link settings. It's all the same. Nothing changes. And I'm going to delete that link for now. So as you can see here, from the uh, doing it from the folder on your computer and doing it from the website is exactly the same. And the last option that uh, you can do it from is from your uh, phone. So if you have Dropbox installed on your phone like I do here, you can choose the little drop-down box next to it. So you can see I have the same zip file here as I do on the computer and online. Now if I choose the drop-down box here, I have the option to share it. And if I choose share, I get the exact same thing again. I can type an email address with a message, or I can choose create a link down here in the corner. So as you can see, you can uh, share this file or any file the same works the exact same way for a folder with anyone and you can do that from the folder on the computer you can do it from the website or you can do it from the app oh, sorry about that so as you can see it's very easy to do if you have any questions go ahead and comment them below don't forget to subscribe i will be releasing plenty of videos in the future
every day more and more that you can do with Dropbox. And I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.